Hello, my name is Kelsey Hubble, and this is today's edition of The Zip. Nothing like a good clash of the billionaires, am I right? So here it goes. Reports this week say that Dan Gilbert is very, very interested in buying the Detroit Tigers. In order to do that, he'd have to sell his casinos. He appears to be willing, but not so fast. Tigers owner Chris Illich says the Tigers are not for sale. But of course, we know everything is for sale in this town, so stay tuned. Okay, Cadillac, you took your headquarters and you ran off to New York in 2014 like a guy in a midlife crisis. A guy looking to trade in his Detroit wife for a newer, sleeker model. Now, you've had enough and now you're crawling back to Michigan. Although Warren wouldn't have been our first, second, or third choices to relocate, welcome back, Cadillac. And Governor Snyder announced today that we're one step closer to fixing those damn roads. At least the ones that are currently under construction. That should avoid a big mess. You recall Snyder announced Tuesday that he planned on bringing non-union workers. Now there's a temporary agreement in place that will restart the work immediately. And winter is coming, so that's good news. The election for governor is only 40 days away, which means there is no shortage of polls. And today, the Free Press dropped the results of its own. Gretchen Whitmer's lead has shrunk, but she still is ahead of Bill Schuette by eight points. Other Democrats are also doing well, but none better than Senator Debbie Stabenow, who now has a more than 20-point lead on Republican challenger John James. And remember how we bragged about a column that we wrote? One that prompted the city to say that it planned to put up a no-standing sign in a space where people kept getting ticketed? Well, we went by today and the sign is up. So once again, yay us and cheers to the city for responding promptly. Come back to DeadlineDetroit.com throughout the day for real news, irreverent views, and the zip.